blustery here in Salt Lake. Our winter weather advisory kicks in at 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, that's what's highlighted in purple for our valleys here across northern Utah. Our mountains do have winter storm warnings already in place, and that takes us through the day tomorrow. We also have wind advisories that we continue to watch. Um, we're going to see some wind gusting about 50 miles per hour at times throughout the night. We've already seen that so far, even here in the valleys. But as we look at future cast, I do want to point out in the next hour or so, we could end up with potentially even some areas of thunder or lightning as this front continues to move through behind it. We're going to see some brief heavy precipitation into the overnight hours and we'll have this creating some slick areas for the morning drive. Even if the bulk of the precipitation comes down while you're sleeping tonight, you could still see some impacts out on the roads for tomorrow morning. Then I also do want to mention that we could see some lake effect development tomorrow east and southeast of the Great Salt Lake so that it is also something that we'll be watching here in the Weather Center heading into your Tuesday. Just generally tomorrow it's going to be cold, mostly cloudy, maybe partly cloudy at times in the afternoon, but just a blustery, chilly day. And we'll continue with winter driving conditions in the mountains throughout the day tomorrow. So all things to consider if you are going to be out on the roads tomorrow, then tomorrow evening the storm is really going to be clearing out nicely. But behind that front, you can see these red wind arrows uh, out of the northwest right now. So if you step outside, it's quite chilly if you're heading out to let the dog out. Then we're seeing that transition to snow. As Chris was just saying, they drove all the way up to Box Elder County and they're headed south. Now there is some light snow currently coming down near Plain City and Corinne. We've had a uh, quite a bit of slowing on and off on I-84 in northern Utah up towards Idaho. Still seeing some areas of rain here in the Salt Lake Valley, but as our temperatures continue to cool down pretty quickly, we will see that transition to snow and then we'll see our front making it to central Utah for the morning commute tomorrow. And then we'll get to those snow totals in just a second. But for tonight, 28 in Salt Lake, breezy with rain to snow. And then throughout the day tomorrow, we're going to have our temperatures staying in the 30s for daytime highs. So about 30 degrees colder than it was yesterday. Then another storm moves in this weekend, but for tomorrow in Ogden, widely scattered snow showers. For Provo tomorrow, we're also looking at some pretty low chances. Isolated snow showers with better chances Saturday into Sunday with a follow-up system that'll bring us more chances for snow on Sunday. And for St. George tomorrow, isolated rain. So new snow that's possible. Northern mountains 6 to 16 inches, close to 20 inches possible in the Cottonwood Central Mountains 5 to 12. Southern mountains 8 to 12 near Bryan head southwest Wyoming 1 to 3 Wasatch back 2 to 8 northern valleys trace to 3 inches central and western valleys a trace to 2 inches St. George 50s tomorrow 60s return on Wednesday and for the Wasatch front 30s tomorrow 40s Wednesday 50s return on Thursday